The Buffalo Animal Shelter is home to so many pets that are waiting for a new permanent home. And case in point, we've got Honey with us today. Honey is on the lap of Dustin Yerman, who is our wonderful volunteer from the Buffalo Animal Shelter. Honey was picked up as a stray, and uh, now she's been cleared for adoption. And she's just a little terrier, about three years old, a female. And Dustin, she's gonna make the perfect pet. Oh yeah, she's super friendly. She's been making friends with all the people in the studio today. Mm -hmm. uh, she loves to snuggle and cuddle. She's got a really cool coat. It's it's kind of wiry looking, but it's actually very soft. Uh -huh. So it's going to shed a little bit, but not too bad. Um, she's just a great little fun, little friendly dog. So she likes to sit in your lap. She calms down. She's pretty nice. Um, yeah, come and adopt her. She Isn't shouldn't she last cute? very long because I mean, she's very cute and she's very sweet and personable. And and how does she do with other dogs? She's fine with other dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's pretty new to the shelter, so. Mm -hmm. But like I said, these little ones go quickly, so you yeah. have to kind of come down. When you see them, call, come in, go snag them, because they go fast. Yeah. But we do have dogs of all shapes and sizes at the shelter right now as well. Big, right. little, medium. Mm -hmm. Everything you could think of, you can find. Normally, Monday through Friday, what are your hours? We're open Monday through Friday from 9 to 3 with extended hours till 7 on Mondays and Wednesdays. Okay. And we're open 9.30 to 2.30 on Saturdays and closed on Sundays. Dustin, if, if, uh, if somebody is coming in, um, should they bring the family, bring the kids if you have them, and even bring another pet? 100%. Actually, if you have another dog, we mm -hmm. do require to do a meet and greet because you want to make sure right. that everyone gets along. And as much as you want the dog, mm -hmm. ultimately your dog is the going to the one to tell you if this is the right fit for your family or not. Right. But bring your kids in, bring in the whole family. It is an ex it's something that you're, it's going to be part of the family, and the whole family should be part of the decision process. Right. I've seen times when parents are uncomfortable or kids are uncomfortable and it's just not the right fit so mm -hmm. you have to really find what the right fit is for you and let's talk about uh, the, the cost because you're, you're never going to be able to get an animal for all of the things that come with it as inexpensively as this the adoption fee is a little under two hundred dollars now that, and it can kind of, it, that might seem a little expensive at first but for what you're getting mm -hmm. you're getting the microchip all the vaccinations, and most importantly, the spay and neuter surgery. Mm -hmm. If you do a spay and neuter surgery privately, it's generally gonna be about four to $500, depending on the size of the dog. Right. So you're getting a great deal, free vet visit, bag of food, um, and you're also making room for another animal at the shelter. Right. Even if you are adopting a highly adoptable dog mm -hmm. and you feel guilty about that, it takes, that that opens a kennel for another dog there. Right. So which what, will be filled immediately. Unfortunately, that is the, right. the sad fact. I've been volunteering for 12 years and we never stay empty for too long, so. And it's so important if you have an animal, whether it's a cat or a dog, to please spay and neuter. Yes. Because this is this is the result of the problems. Exactly. Is we, that don't... we have animals that are that are simply we have an abundance of them, and we shouldn't. Yes. Everyone should be wanted. Exactly. Yeah. Our situation in Buffalo and New York is not as bad as in the South, but mm -hmm. it's still an important thing. And there's also plenty of health benefits to spaying and neuter your dog. Right. So. It's worth it, and it's a great decision. Well, Honey is adorable, and I don't know how, how long Honey will be there, but she is waiting for the perfect family. If it's you, make sure you head down to the Buffalo Animal Shelter and do a meet She'd love and to greet. meet you. Yep, and, um, and if not, Honey, one of her many, many friends that are there, too. Dustin, thank you so much. You've always a pleasure. Always awesome bringing animals in, and we're so happy to let people know it's been about 100% uh, adoption rate since they're on AM Buffalo, so we love that. All right, Dustin, thank you so much, everybody. Thanks for having us. All right, we'll be right back.